All right, so I'm gonna show you how to prepare your paper. So if you have these two sheets um, from drawing one and you still have them intact, you're gonna use them now. You could use either or, to be honest with, with you. Um, this is a mid-tone paper, so your dark values will show up, the light values will show up, and your mid-tones will just mix. Um, I assume a lot of you have this one, so I think I'm gonna go with this one, but I might prepare them both. Now, because these are so big, these are 19 by 25, I actually think they're a little bigger than 19, um, and they don't fit on the board, uh, and you can't make the board vertical, the adjustable drawing board. So if we were in the studio, I would say, hey, grab that large sheet of paper. We're gonna do a big self-portrait. Um, and you would have kind of like a piece of cardboard or something like this. It's actually a way to do it as well. But um, because of our limitations and we're at home, we're gonna go a little bit smaller. Um, but the nice thing is that if you make a mistake on one, you can just, you have two sheets of paper. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, measure this. So the, the length of this sheet of paper is 25 inches. And so half of 25, we're just gonna slice it right in half. And we're going to, um, ooh, we're just gonna cut it right at um, 12 and a half inches. So I'm just gonna measure 12 and a half inches here. And I measure 12 and a half inches here. And in this case, I'm gonna cut it because everything else is a nice clean cut. So instead of ripping the paper, I don't wanna take the chance of making a mistake. So I'm gonna cut and slice the, the paper. Um, this, if you still have these uh, cardboard portfolio here, it's nice because what I did is I just took a piece of blue tape and, and I made a, um, a uh, uh, there's a name for this, but I just kind of uh, enclosed the one side and then I just made myself a little bit of a strap here so I could, uh, out of tape, so I could close it. And that will keep the paper protected for next time you use it. And, uh, and I'm just making sure this isn't crimped inside there. All right, so I have that and I'll put this on the side. And because you are taking probably taking a drawing class, or I'm sorry, a 2D class or a some kind of class. You can cut this sheet of paper um, on a cutting mat. All right. And since I have my 3D design stuff handy here, what I'm gonna do is, There it is, I got my little knife. And if you've been taking these classes, you have something like this. If not, you can use a utility knife. If you have to rip it, you can just rip it. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting those two points and I'm going to cut. Now when you cut, I mean, I tell this to all my 2D classes, I'm sure you've taken something like that. But when you cut, make sure, make sure this is 20. That's eh, a little shorter on one side. Um, so it's a little bit more than 25 inches. I just have a 24 inch ruler and it looked like it was an inch. So I was like, oh, I must measure out to 25. So I'll do 20, 12 and a half. You can tell that this side's a little bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the wider one, which I kind of like. And I'm gonna put the shorter one away. I'll just put it back into that cardboard um, area. And I think I have to fix my camera here. Hold on a second, guys. That's better. All right, so um, now I have my paper, but on the draw on the adjustable drawing board, this is too high because your portrait is going to be vertical. It's going to be you know it's like portrait. It's not landscape. It's portrait when you print something out. That's why they call it portrait. So it's going to be vertical, um, but this is too long for the height of your adjustable drawing board. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down to 18 inches. Okay. Um, you might notice that, that there's a, uh, a sticker on the back. That's the back of the paper. The front of the paper has a little bit of tooth to it. So it's up to you if you want to cut off the, uh, there's a section down here that is, um, what is it? It's the uh, watermark, it's called the watermark. And it says Canton, Canton, Canton. Um, you can cut that section off if you want, or you can cut the section off, it's up to you. I'm just gonna cut off the Canton part. I don't, I don't not that important to me. 
Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure 18 inches. And 18 inches. And then I'm gonna cut that off. The reason I'm cutting this off because when you do put uh, charcoal on top of it, the canton kind of shows through. So I don't really care. But the nice thing about just in future reference, you're supposed to use the side of the paper the watermark is on. See the water, you can't see the watermark on this side. I'm just gonna really bring it up, but you can see the watermark. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can see the watermark on this side. So that's, the, that's what you draw on. So the paper's ready, prepared to go, and then you're going to put this on your drawing board. If you wanna do a, I'd say a half inch border this time, and you could tape that up just like the last drawing. And sometimes I allow people to go with a free form edge, but in this case, you can just do a half inch. Um, and that's it, then you're ready to go. All right. Right now, I'm making a three quarter inch border. I said half inch border, and then I was looking at a half inch, and it seemed pretty, pretty small. So I'm making a three quarter inch border. Um, not a full inch, but if you wanna do a full inch, you're more than welcome. I just felt like doing a three quarter inch just to give myself more room for the self portrait. And that's kind of what I'm gonna go, go with. And you can see how this fits on the drawing board perfectly now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna put it over towards the right side more because that's how I'm gonna, uh, so I don't cover my myself from the board. Do you know what I mean? When I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm gonna uh, try to have most of the board to the left and the mirror to my right. So I'm, I'm gonna attach it here. And what I'm gonna do is using my yellow frog tape, I'm going to connect the or, um, tape down, make sure it's perfectly parallel to the sides and the top. And I like to tape that down first. And make sure it's nice and flat. That's just making sure all the air bubbles are out. And then after that, just like I showed you before, you're gonna go all the way around and tap on the line. Tap, 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 tap. Oops, I'm doing this too fast and I'm not doing a good tap. My head in there. I can't see because of the shadow. This doesn't make good television, does it? Okay, so there's that, and then I'll just do one more down here. Tap, 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 tap. All right, finish it around, and you're ready to go. All right, see you later.